These new rules combined with surging cases is really putting some serious stress on a number of businesses once again, including a few in Niagara County now that have been forced to close down. Niagara County is reporting 90 new positive cases since Tuesday morning of this week, and there are currently 420 active cases there. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shows us how this trend in COVID numbers now and a number of other issues could cause even more closures in the very near future. We can't keep our doors open. I can't, the, the money's gone. Um, I can't keep robbing Peter to pay Paul. Steve Brown is still very upset after telling his 20 plus employees that Brownie's Sports Bar and Tavern is shutting down. And he took to Facebook to let his customers know why. You know, these politicians are playing politics with our lives, and I'm glad they're happy they get a can look forward to a paycheck uh, every week. Uh. Brownies just opened last year in North Tonawanda and was on track to make more than a million dollars until the pandemic hit. With New York State restrictions on capacity and hours, Brownies revenue dropped so low that there is not enough cash to keep the doors open. We built a family here. We were doing great. Brownies is not the only North Tonawanda business going under. Crazy Jake's on Webster Street is also shutting down due to COVID-19. We're all hurting. We've had reduced business flow, not as many customers as you'd like to have. It is a big concern for Lumber City Development and the Chamber of Commerce of the Tonawandas. It's really hurt businesses by not knowing a, con a consolidated plan on what they can do and how they can do things. The organizations say constantly changing New York State rules are hurting North Tonawanda's 200 small businesses. And all we're asking for is we have a plan to open. Why can't he let us open? The Riviera Theater on Webster Street is an example. It cannot open because it is classified for entertainment and not as a movie theater. But the Riviera was supposed to be a magnet to help draw people to other downtown businesses. You know, they work for us. We don't work for them. <laughs> we need your help. Uh, we've been paying our taxes. Everybody has. The other problem is Niagara County did not get CARES Act money. And without a new stimulus package, the fear is more Lumber City businesses will close soon. For one day, we, we need our politicians that we elect to put their differences aside, get back into session. A new stimulus package has been stalled in Washington for months, but many are hoping that now that the presidential election is behind us, that Congress will finally take action and approve money for people and businesses who are struggling. In North Tonawanda, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.